Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I want to talk again about modeling with the big Unifix cubes with the upper elementary kids. Also, it's great to use in your intervention groups. So say I wanted to teach multiplicative comparison, which is a fourth grade standards in most states. In Texas, it's actually a third grade standard. So I tell the kids, oh, Michael has two red cubes and his brother has two times as many. So then the kids can see physically that's one times as many, that's two times as many. So... Michael has two, his brother has two times as many. How many does his brother have? His brother has four. How many do they have all together? They have six. How many more would his brother need to have the same amount that he does? So there's just really great things you can use and do with these cubes. Um, that's the first type of problem that you could tell. Say I wanted to tell the second type of problem. I could say, oh, well, Michael has six cubes. Right. And he has three times as many as his brother. So the kids would have to separate that into groups of threes and see how many are in each group. So they could see, oh, his brother then has two cubes because Michael has six and he has three times as many as his brother. So his brother only has two. How many do they have all together? How many more would his brother need to have the same amount as he does? So you can ask a variety of questions, but these are so great for that. And then finally, the last problem is Michael has two cubes. His brother has four, right? So four and two. How many times as many cubes does his brother have as Michael has? And we could see his brother has two times as many cubes as Michael. And so use the cubes, use the big cubes. Do not be afraid to use the big cubes in the big grades, <laughs> right? So get those big Unifix demonstration cubes and use them. You can also use the little cubes as well. Happy mathing.